Well, good day viewers, well I did some dried food harvesting yesterday Just the last bit to finish it off We've been getting these bloody things here Elephant hawk moths I just picked these out of the fruit bins Out of the dried fruit bins They're sitting in the top trying to eat the vine leaves Now when we've got young vines planted These things just come out and they strip all the leaves off the young vines And they can't um, produce much as you can see, I just chuck some vine leaves in there and they're all fighting over it just to get, to get a bit of the action. And you can see one there is eating the leaf. Some are uh, brown, some are green. They're called elephant hawk moths. They've got fake eyes. I use them as night vision. Get in the shade here. Yeah. There's like fake eye things that they use for night vision. And this is supposed to be some sort of antenna, this little thing in their tail. They eat vine leaves all their bloody lives, and that little thing there stretches out, pops out, and that's its mouth. And these things, like they go somewhere, like in a cocoon or something, develop into one of those big brown moths. Those brown ones are supposed to be pinky coloured moths. And those ones there are just a brown moth when they once they're a moth. But this is them in their, um, uh, their caterpillar stage. And you can see, as soon as I chuck that fresh vine leaf in, they're going crazy over it. I'll see if I can get more of these if I can. Get bloody heaps of them here. They are considered as a pest. There's some there. There's one right there. Look at that. Let go, you bastard. It's spewed up all over me. It's just leaf matter. Let go. There you go. See if it eats the sultanas, but I don't think it will. They only live on these green leaves here. They've come through the harvester and they've survived through the harvester, so... There's one there. They're cold-blooded little things. Spews up its guts all over me. Yeah, there's a lot of leaves I hear here. There's one there. That's going in. I normally we spray these damn things for chemical. But, um, can't find nothing here. They are hiding, you little bastards. They're in here, I just... The magpies tend to eat these. They can go in. There's another baby on there, they can go in. I need two hands, one to tear the thing out of its legs. So, they thought, let's go. This one here still doesn't want to let go of the sultana. See? Got little strong little legs, and they're just grabbing. Yeah, they just will not let go. Got a nice, good, strong grip on them. And that's what the vine leaves look like normally when they're in the vines, once they strip them. This has actually been broken off for a while, but something like that they'll look like. This is just after they've been through the harvest, so they're already battered and bruised and smashed. Too dry to grapes, damn it, but anyway, they can, they can be better. Let's see what else I can find in this dried fruit. Um, let's see, it's little caterpillars. They don't really pose too much of a threat. These little things here are more of a problem. Bloody elephant hawk moths. Pay in the arse, these things. There's a nice brown one there, trying to spill its guts over me. See, that little vine leaf, that's all that green stuff is, just vine leaf, that's all they eat. And there's its fake guys, and a little antenna on its tail. Hard to pick up for the camera, but... Hmm. They're in various stages of their life. Some are little babies, some are getting bigger. Look at that, some on the ground here. I'm going to try to eat the sultana. I'm not going to get much out of that, mate. One there, another one there. Let's see what else some have squashed. Just chuck, get them out, chuck them on the ground, squash them. They're just a pest. Absolute nuisance for our crop. They get into your fresh fruit bunches when you go to the centre of the market, and these things end up popping out. And they ruin your, um, ruin your whole bloody. Gonna get these things early. Um, can't find nothing in here. There's one there. They're sneaky little bastards, these things. Get it out of there. 
he can go in. Lots of them. Another one there. Bucket's getting a bit heavy too, there's a bit of weight in these. Oh, let's see what else I can find. Another one there, I can see one. Uh, just a leaf. Yeah, there's some fresh grapes here. Half this fruit didn't dry properly. Been a bastard of a year this year, but anyway. Get off. There you go. There's all those spewers spewed half the guts up. One there. There you go, got a nice good grip on them. a big one too, a juicy one. Like these things here been doing a bit of most damage to your crop there. You just strip all the leaves off your vines, especially when they're young. When the vines are young, just plant it, I'll just strip all the leaves off and the vine can't get much um uh, photosynthesis and all that sort of stuff that the plant needs. Here's one there, it's already been through the harvest and got squashed or the guts have been squashed out of it. So that's gone. More elephant hawk uh, moths, there's one there. Another one down here. Got a sultana, let go of it, you little shit. Yeah, see, they spit their little guts out. Another one there. Another one there. I could put these in the ground and magpies are them, but there's not enough magpies around to catch up to keep to compensate because these things just end up getting away and they end up back in the block and hitting um, the vine leaves again. They usually come out at the colder, maybe uh, January to April I assume because that's when they're most bloody common here. We've found out when the vines are just producing and you can see they're having a good time eating. You can see the mouth on that one trying to eat. Look at the mouth on it. The mouth just extends and it just starts munching away. If you listen carefully, you hear crunching. And that vine loaf will probably be completely gone. Stripped down to its bare veins within probably about five minutes. They're going crazy over this thing. Won't be much left of that leaf. Let's see what else we've got here. Those ones there they aren't really much of a problem as I was saying. They've pretty much got nothing to eat now. Once these things run out of food, that's it. They're gone. Another one here with chopped on the ground. The bird didn't get it, so it's trying to eat the weeds. Look at that. It's mouth all retracted. Looks like one of those advisor things of Half-Life 2 when it's like that. And look at it. Little claws come out there. That's mouth. I should get the HD camera on these, you'll be able to see these in more detail. But anyway, I ain't got time for that, I'm just going to do it with this camera for now. Yeah, they'll come out every now and then, we'll just pick them out. But yeah. That's what the fruit should look like, nice and light coloured like that, to get a good grade. But there's another one of these little elephant hawks, I just keep finding them. So yeah. That's what they look like and that's what they do to your vines. Strip the leaves off like they're doing to this leaf now, so yeah. Thanks for watching.